welcome back to Subnautica Blue Zero, guys. I have another base tour for you guys today. I'm gonna park right here before we dive in because I did not build a sea truck dock. Uh, this is a capsule hotel type of base. It's a concept for a capsule hotel. And the sea truck dock just did not fit in the design I envisioned, so you have to resort to this or the glacier it's will destroy it. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick overview from the outside before they, they come and get me, and you'll see the rest from inside. So this is what it looks like from up here. This will be for the end. There they are, at least one of them. They don't normally spawn from there. I guess I'll have to go through here. So, let's get into it. A few notes before we start. Uh, the colors around the edge of the base are always weird. Any dark color you put in your bases will be shown as a light grey, unless it's night, for some unknown reason. If you do know what causes this, please let me know. So you have to resort to lighter colors for you to be able to see them, hence the light blue. Now, I messed around with the field of view for this video. I shortened it so you can see the true size of these guys. I could go even further and they would seem... They won't seem it's the actual size, they are massive, but it would seem a little bigger, but I think this is just perfect. Uh, other than this, it just looks weird. I'm not a fan. Even things in your hands, you can barely see them. But this looks perfect. So let's start with the scanner room. Very standard. On this side, there's the control room. Also in a, with a, an observatory piece. Look at the size of this. I think I have said this about uh, Subnautica, but I enjoy the first one a little better than the than the Below Zero. But there's a few things that Below Zero did better than the first one, in my opinion. The obvious one is the base building capabilities. He offers offers a lot more. Uh, creative choices and a lot more freedom, that's the obvious one. The other is the sense of uh, scale, namely from these guys, they are so very well drawn, uh, it's a, an amazing concept, they are well up there with the ghost leviathans, if not better, in my opinion. I mean, look at them, they are absolutely gigantic. Now, let's keep going. This right here is the lounge area, the common lounge area for the whole hotel with the, all the utilities, food, water, a bunch of aquariums, chilling area, there's a bar as well. Looks very nice, they are gigantic, it's insane. An observational deck uh, in here. I have one just like this in every uh, piece. A bunch of pictures of bases that you may or may not have seen already. Here is a shower and uh, a pooping station to support the lounge. Now we go through here and down we go I'm gonna start I should go through this as I told you another observational deck here I just keep staring at them the scenery in the void is just insane it remains one of my favorite places if not the favorite place to build because it's just amazing. We go from here to the other side. There's a nuclear reactor, very standard. Here you have showers equipped with a bunch of pictures. 
soldiers. This would be the serving, uh, the serving room for the actual council rooms. The door should be open. And these open. Uh, people can come here, chill, drink coffee, eat something before going to the actual lounge. Here is the pooping station, equipped with a live feed from the outside, so you can, uh, you know, uh, help you poop. You poop faster. Now, as I told you, this is the actual capsule hotel. Let's pretend this door is closed. This is the capsule rooms. This is not the best place if you have uh, thalassophobia. Not exactly the romantic or family setting. And if you don't have thalassophobia, um, you will by the end of the video, I guess. Absolutely massive. Now, going to the other room. We're gonna leave the this whole centerpiece of the base to the end. We have another room here, another capsule room. And that would be will be the, the end right there. Now the other side. It's pretty much the same, just slightly different. Pooping station standard, got your coffee and your foods, more chilling area, more aquariums, got the showers, this is the nuclear reactor, not gonna waste any more time on this, now here you have another room, Final room on this uh, on this side, which is this right here. They are pretty much the same. Now let's explore the centerpiece of the base. I love to build these long corridors; they do look amazing. Here you can have a pretty decent overview of the outside. Another observational deck. And here are the more uh, extreme and secluded rooms. For those of you wishing to upgrade your experience, they are a lot further away from the hotel. The view is a little more unobstructed, I would say. There's another one on this side. Now, <clears throat> the final piece is down here. It's a pool area. Those are the reactor rooms. So this is our pool area. A few showers. Showers? What the hell did I say? Shower. It's a shower. And of course, not be an overlord video if I didn't jump, right? So. Welcome aboard, no, 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 wrong side, wrong side. Oof. I think they are above me. I think I'm safe. I have a bit more. Okay, let's not push our luck any further. Uh, there's one more piece of the hotel 
which is that capsule right there. So let's try and get there without dying. And I'm gonna end the video there. Not sure if I can make it. Underneath me as well. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to go about this some other way. Unless I spawn right into it. Okay, that does it. This is not the intended thingy. To get in here, I have to go away where the sea truck is, which is right there, and sprint right into here. But I guess dying does it. So, yeah, this is the last piece uh, with a very unorthodox way of getting in. This is the most extreme room in the hotel, as you saw. For those of you feeling frisky, I'm gonna end the video right here. I'm gonna show you a small clip of the base at night, as usual, and I'm gonna end the video there. I'm not gonna even gonna move, I'm gonna record from here, and then I'm gonna try a grand escape for you guys. And I'll probably end up dying and respawn. So, I'll be right back. And we are back, guys. This is how it looks at night. Extra freaking creepy. You can barely see them. Not sure if I can... Yeah, this is what the base looks at night. Very, very creepy. Just check. I have the headlamp on, like this you can see them a little better, yeah that's not creepy at all, now oh, let's not waste any more time. Plunge right in. I should have gone inside the base, probably. Okay, we made it. So, if you do enjoy this type of content, please do consider subscribing. Uh, as always, see you guys.